After more than two decades, Netflix is ending its mail delivery DVD service. But some businesses say their DVD demand actually remains strong. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders heads to Mount Juliet for the story. Coming down Lebanon Road to Mount Juliet, you don't expect to see one of these. But there it is, Danger Zone Video. People kind of poke their head in the door and say, is this real? It takes some people back. I'd be doing myself a disservice not putting that on my staff pick shelf. Jesse so Butler. So this is a keychain from the show Twin Peaks. And, and Brittany so Fernandez are happy to talk movies. Everybody loves a, a good family story. In their little Probably shop of horrors. And a bunch of other kinds of movies too. Big fan of, uh, of this movie, Deadly Prey. They want their place to feel like those great old video stores. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee, so we had the Blockbuster. My childhood video store was Movie Gallery in Laverne. It smelled like candy and stale carpet, but in a very like nostalgic kind of comforting way. <laughs> they sell DVDs, Blu-rays, VHSs, and if you can't play those, well. We also sell VCRs. It's all a bit of divine nostalgia in a time when Netflix is king. Netflix is ending their DVD mailing service in September. So how is Blu-ray and DVD doing even in the midst of the streaming era? Well, according to market research company Sorkana, Blu-ray and DVD last year alone made $1.34 billion. Now, make no mistake, that's down a lot from DVD's peak of $16.3 billion in sales in 2005. But Jesse and Brittany say they were able to open their place last year because a consumer demand for physical media remains. 26% of homes bought either DVDs or Blu-rays in the past six months. You don't have to rely on streaming services. We need to own the things that we want to watch at any given time. And so Jesse and Brittany continue to bring the nostalgia. Whether your nostalgia looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, Indiana Jones, or Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I love just the in-person connection. I think it'll be around for a while. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. The Circana Market Research Group adds collector's editions are actually helping drive the DVD demand today with sales of those up 85% over last year. I still have some of my DVDs. Right? You kind of keep them you around. Keep them, yeah. It's hard to believe, though, that people are still going to the stores to get them, but it's cool to see. Well, good for them. Yeah.